Hello, I am again live. Uh, today we are talking to Luke, and I'm super excited. I haven't spoken to Luke in a really long time, and um, I have some serious questions this time around. Let me see if Luke has checked in. Hello, I hear a lot of uh, people commenting. Hello, hello. Ashok Grewal, hello. Kumar Manish, hello. Okay, I'm first trying to get Luke on so that we can do this chat. Luke. Mm. Okay, I cannot spot Luke yet. No. I thought I knew how to do this. Hey guys, sorry, trying to figure it out, trying to get Luke right now onto the video. Okay, so uh, till Luke comes onto um, onto the video, uh, I'm sure, of course, everyone's been you know at home, and um, while you're at home, there are gonna be so many things that must be coming, you know, which are which are overwhelming in your head, and then you want to deal with that. So Luke is gonna really, really help us out with a lot of, I mean, at least some questions that I have in my head, and we can ask him, and he can help us and guide us with that. Um, I'm just trying to search if Luke has come online. Hello, it's a friend of mine. Hi, Natalie. Yeah. And the, uh, just. Yes, I think we should have him soon. Hi, Luke. Hey, hi. How are you? I very smartly forgot how to use the live. <laughs> and I was like <laughs> struggling. No problem. No problem. I've been waiting to ask you a couple of questions, Tamanda. There's these banana, pan, these banana walnut muffins that you posted. That's when I said we need to go live together. We need to go live and figure out what you're cooking at home, what you're baking, because it sounded so good, sugar-free. It looked good. It was amazing. So... I thought, yeah, we should talk about food, what you're cooking at home these days and stuff like that. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, Luke. So good to see you. I feel like I'm seeing you after very long because I think we've seen each other after the last live. Yeah. And, uh, of course, like, just like most of us, who everyone's been at home and uh, it's, been, <laughs> it's been fun at times. It's been challenging at times. It, there's so many mixed emotions when you are spending so much time at home. And... Um, right. And I feel like there's so many questions that I have to ask you. Of course, sure. I'll tell you how I, how, got, how I got my pancakes going, how I got the, <laughs> the muffins going. I also discovered that I really like to cook and I love That's to great. bake. Um, and because I don't like, I've spoken to you and uh, <clears throat> I, had, I had discussed this with you that I, I am intolerant to gluten and dairy. Correct. And, uh, yeah. A lot of people don't know about their intolerances in terms of... Uh, the food that they're intaking. So after having discovered that and having these discussions with you, I felt like for how long in my life am I not going to eat this and not going to eat that and some things that I really like to eat. And I feel like the relationship with food has changed ever since, um, you know, we've been talking and the way you've been guiding me. So I hope and wish that from my experiences, Whoever is watching can, um, you know, kind of take from those experiences. Um, right. So when it came to these uh, uh, these muffins or these pancakes, I just thought of using alternatives, which are when there are so many flours, especially in India, I think we are blessed with having a lot more uh, uh, non-gluten flours than anywhere in the West. Right. And just mixing them using, uh, you know, components like xanthan gum and stuff that actually helps you bind um, you know, these, because it doesn't have gluten, so it's not possible to bind. Correct, yeah. 
mm-hmm. and um, and they are just using uh, you know agave instead of uh, or using honey instead of um you know any kind of sugar, sugar. so when i ever uh, tried to make something that i wanted sweetened i would either put coconut palm sugar like how you suggest right uh, mm-hmm. or i would end up uh, adding honey to it because i felt like that's another alternative in terms of sweetening but the the muffins that i made the other day had no sugar whatsoever it was just bananas and i feel like the fruits that we eat anyway have so much like sweetness you know, yeah, sweetness yeah. how has it been for you look It's been good, and that's that's an amazing point. You know, I like that you're discovering things that you can do at home. Like you like cooking; you never yeah. knew that before. And I think during this lockdown, people should use that time to find a new skill. There are a lot of people who are just waiting for lockdown. Everyone's waiting, but you can use your time to find out something that you enjoy doing. And like you said, a lot of people are gluten intolerant, and you know, a lot of people who struggle to lose weight. You know, they have a lot of acne. on their face they have hair fall and they keep trying different things but sometimes you need to see if you know gluten suits you because only by removing gluten all your problems start to get better so it's Good. so important for them to have an alternative like the one that you showed us now you know because everyone thinks that you know if i can't have gluten i can't have cakes i can't have muffins i can't have pastries but that's not the truth like what you just created this banana muffin wal- walnut muffin has absolutely no gluten and you're right in india we have jowar flour we have bajra we have so many different gluten free flours and if you make it and make something out of it so yeah i was motivated when i saw that i was hungry and, and motivated rice rice is such an underrated like i think a lot of people fear rice also i think there right. is this stigma when people want to like start losing weight the first thing they want to get rid of is rice i don't know why but i think when we did our plan- Uh, we kept rice as a part of the plan because i feel like it 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 is something if it works for you it's it's a great uh, carb which actually helps you energize and like do your daily things because anyone who has a very hectic lifestyle would probably need that, that, that you know, those many carbs um i mean i think everything is portion control i mean some amount of i mean as long as you don't go crazy and eat like you know one full like you know bowl of it then i mean i mean if you don't eat like a big bowl of it then it's fine Yeah and you know like another thing that i discovered is because i love rice so much and then it's included in like at least one of my main meals um and i and i feel like um, because i'm i'm a vegetarian uh, and i don't know i'm guessing a lot of uh, people a lot of in fact a lot of my friends i've i whenever i talk to them they they talk about you know that they don't feel like eating non vegetarian nowadays it could be the weather it could be the kind of meat that's available in the market uh and for people who are trying to turn uh vegan or trying to turn vegetarian from being non vegetarian the options for protein becomes like this question mark and then there's this i mean there is this confusion as to how can you get your protein from vegetarian food so again could you enlighten me a little bit on what could be um uh what could be the options
of course. Uh, one second, look, I'm just checking my volume because I think some people are saying that they can't hear. Okay, so I'm going to just, uh, yeah, I mean, I think during this lockdown period, my phone has also kind of given a little bit of, you know, trouble and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, so, but we're all kind of, I think we have so much. There's, um, I think it's really important to feel grateful for all that we have. And I think the more I'm spending time at home, I feel like that kind of comes to me over and over again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, even I can um, hear you. Guys, can you hear now? Okay, great. Um, okay, I'm glad because we had such important things to say. Also, I feel like a lot of South Indian uh, uh, people um, make this dosa called Pesaratu, which is become my favorite during this quarantine period and I'm sure everybody who's watching uh, would probably now think of making it when they want to eat healthy and if they're already consuming enough amount of uh, rice in the day and they don't want to or they're generally consuming enough carbs and they don't want to go too much into the rice direction then I think Pesara too the dosas turn out so yummy and they don't give me that feeling of the I actually prefer the taste of the Pesar Atu over the regular dosa now. Right. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to see if people can hear because I feel like they are still... Um, Ah, we can hear you, ma'am, but not Luke. How is that possible? I hear you. I hear you crystal clear. I hear you crystal clear. Guys, if you can hear, can you give us a thumbs up? Okay. Some people say they can hear. Okay. So, um... So that is something I, and I, and I love, uh, so because I'm not a complete vegan, I, I do eat eggs uh, and I enjoy eggs as well. Uh, I, I have, uh, there are phases where I go into liking eggs and then not liking it. So I, I feel like I need to just reinvent it because I think we, most people who eat eggs, I mean, what can you do with it is what you think. So I uh, tried making shakshuka which is, um, you know, again, a very like Mediterranean kind of version of eggs. And I think I was just trying to, you know, change the way I eat my eggs. And I think this quarantine gave me the opportunity to kind of just, you know, do all this experimentation in my kitchen. Yeah. Look, I still feel people can't hear us for some odd reason. I'm because I can read the comments, and the comments kind of go like some can hear, some cannot. Um, how do we do this? Should we should we disconnect and connect again? Yeah. So guys, we're disconnecting, and then we'll come back. We go out and we come back just in case anyone can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> 